Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I'm your host, Olivia DeSantos, and I'll be joined by my co-host shortly. Today we are talking about how to choose the right dog food for your dog. Now there are quite a few things that go into choosing dog food. There are so many options when you go to the supermarket, so I completely appreciate that it's a very overwhelming choice when you go to read these labels. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to read a label and what you should be looking out for. But before we jump into the topic, please do subscribe to this channel if you want to raise happy, healthy and well-behaved dogs. Also click that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Now, let's dive into the different factors that you should consider when choosing the right dog food for your dog. The first thing is nutrition. Nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Now, of course, we say at Gentle Dog Trainers that you should always buy the best quality dog food that you can afford. So at your budget level, whatever it happens to be, just find the best quality at that level. We're not necessarily advocating that you buy the most expensive thing that you can find, because if it's not sustainable, then that's not going to work anyway. So the best thing is to be able to read nutritional labels and make sure that the dog food that you are choosing is going to be of good nutritional quality for your dog at the price point that you are at. So how do you read a nutritional label? And to be able to help you to discern from a good quality dog food from a bad quality dog food, I'm gonna show you the difference between our favorite dog food, which is Petsico and this, and their nutritional labels as opposed to a bad dog food brand and their nutritional labels. So I'm gonna show you both and we're gonna talk you through them. So the first thing you need to note when you're reading a dog nutritional label is to look at where the protein is named. So the first few ingredients on any ingredient list will be the ingredients with the highest concentration in the mix of whatever you're reading. So the first ingredient of a good quality dog food should be the named protein that is advertised on the packet. So if that's chicken, it should be chicken. If that's beef, it should be beef. Um, in this case, for our favorite, Petsico, it is sustainable kangaroo. So kangaroo meat has many, many benefits to it. Uh, definitely check out our article all about kangaroo meat, which is in the description down below. But that is the first name protein, meaning that most of the kibble is made from sustainable kangaroo. That is fantastic. And if we compare with the quote unquote bad pet food label, the first ingredient here is whole grain corn. Now, that is not what you want to see as the predominant highest concentration ingredient in dog food. So you'll find that particularly very cheap dog food will be mostly filler and this is a good example. The second point we want to say when reading dog lab when reading dog food labels is to avoid byproducts. So byproducts is a low so is a lower quality source of protein than the actual meat. So if we go back to the Petsio dog food label, you'll see that there are no named byproducts on there. When it says sustainable kangaroo, it is just sustainable kangaroo. It doesn't have any byproducts on there. But if we look at the quote unquote bad label, then you'll see that it says poultry byproduct meal. Um, that could be anything, could be any sort of offcuts, usually a lower source of protein and so not great for your dog. Now, are meals okay? So I just mentioned that the quote unquote bad dog food label has meal on it. Meals are fine. They're still a good source of protein as long as the protein is specifically named. So the Petsio one doesn't have a meal. It is just sustainable kangaroo. Um, this bad bad food label would be better if it did have you know chicken meal for example that would instantly make it much more 
valuable, much more nutritionally dense than poultry byproduct meal. But meals in general are fine as long as it has a named protein attached. The next thing that you want to look out for are whole food additions. So we've spoken on this channel previously about uh, the fact that dogs can eat fruit and um, it's actually quite good for them. So are certain vegetables. So you want to see that there are some additions of some fruits and vegetables that are good for their health. So let's go back to the Petsio label. Here you can see tons of fantastic whole foods. So sweet potato, peas, lentils, carrots, broccoli. These are all really, really good for your dog's system. And if we go to the bad one, you can't see any whole foods included here. So it's all just wheat and corn and barley and basically filler products as opposed to actual good fibrous fruit and vegetables. Another point that you should consider is to avoid sulfite preservatives. Now, it's a really big controversy in Australian dog food in particular because meat meal often has a lot of sulfite preservatives because the dog food industry and pet food industry in general in Australia is less regulated than in other countries. Um, so you want to try and avoid any sulfite preservatives as they can actually end up being very toxic to your dog. Uh, let's look at the Petsio ingredients list and see if we can spot any. No, can't spot any sulfite preservatives at all. And if we look at the other one, I also don't spot any sulfites on this one. So this is a good thing for that particular brand. Well done them. I don't spot any sulfite preservatives in particular, but there are a lot of preservatives in this in general. Um, there are quite a lot of sulfates there. So something to bear in mind. And the final seal is the AAFCO compliance. Now, in Australia, pet food is largely unregulated industry, which means that high quality dog food isn't labeled as such or very easy to find. Whereas if you buy from brands that use the Association of American Feed Controls officials standards for their labeling, then you have a better guarantee that it is a high quality product. Now, this isn't a catch-all because the AAFCO isn't perfect, but having a brand that says that they follow those guidelines for the best quality food that they can um, usually means that it is a better sign of quality. So now you've figured out that the nutritional content is good, you also need to think about the age and size of your dog. So puppies need puppy food and as and we've already done a video on whether puppies can eat adult food, but generally you should be giving them age appropriate food at every level of their life. So my dogs are much much older now so they have senior support food and this is to help them with mobility this is to help them with maintaining cognitive function it just has extra vitamins and minerals specifically for their stage of life so definitely check out the dog food that will best match your dog's stage of life also there are different types of food for different breeds of dog or rather sizes of dog small and large dog food may differ in terms of the size of the kibble so larger dog food might have larger kibble it also might have different vitamins to support their different needs so larger dogs more likely to have mobility issues and more likely to have arthritis so generally has some fortifying vitamins that will support them with that Final consideration when choosing the right dog food for your dog is to do with any sort of special considerations that your dog may have. So let's say that your dog has an allergy to grain. Not all dogs do, but there are grain-free dog food options out there for your pup. 
Likewise, if your dog is struggling with their weight, maybe they are really obese and you need to put them on some weight control food, then there is special weight control food out there for your pup as well. There are lots of different types of dog food on the market, different protein types. There are limited ingredient formula formulas, which tend to be very high end, but this means that it doesn't have many fillers or add additives. It, it's just a lot of great nutrient dense food. And then you've even got raw food diets, which is a completely different thing, which we might do a video on one day. But there are lots of factors that go into the right dog food. To keep things simple, just make sure that you are getting the best nutritional content for your buck. Make sure that the dog foods that you buy is age appropriate and size appropriate for your specific dog. And check out our favorite dog food brands on the Australian market that you can get today. I've been your host, Olivia DeSantos, for the Gentle Dog Trainers channel, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.